Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the uh, Lewis dot structure for silicon tetrafluoride. So here we go. Um, silicon tetrafluoride is going to be SiF4, okay, and that's going to give us four valence electrons from the silicon plus four fluorines each with seven valence electrons. And that's going to give us a total of 32 valence electrons, okay? We can go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which is 32. It gives us 0 uh, remaining electrons. And since 32 is equal to 8 times 4, that means that this um, molecule will be an AX4 structure meaning that there is one central atom surrounded by four peripheral atoms, all right? So let's go ahead and draw the structure. So we have the silicon in the center, surrounded by the four fluorines. All right, and we can go ahead and single bond all of those together to the uh, central silicon, and then fill in the octets for each of the surrounding fluorines. Okay, and then if you, if you count out the electrons, that's going to be our total 32 valence electrons. So that's actually going to be our final structure. But let's go ahead and verify that by checking the formal charges on these on the atoms. So the formal charge on the silicon is going to be the four valence brought in minus one, two, three, four bonds minus zero non-bonding electrons for formal charge of zero. Okay, and then the formal charge of each of the fluorines and notice that they all have the same setup so all their formal charges will be equal that's going to be uh, seven valence brought in for each minus a single bond on each fluorine minus two four six non-bonding electrons on each fluorine for a formal charge of zero on each one times that by four because there are four of them and that's still going to add up to zero overall which is what we need because this is not an ion, this is a neutrally charged compound, okay? Now, uh, in terms of shape, with the AX4 structure, that means that this is going to have a tetrahedral shape, all right? And when you have a tetrahedral shape, the bond angles are going to be approximately 109.5 degrees, okay? Uh, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central silicon here, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites or electron groups. So with four of those, we're going to need four uh, hybrid orbitals. So sp3 hybrid, 1s and 3p, so that's a total of four orbitals, okay? And then in terms of polarity, because all of the surrounding atoms are all the same kind of atom, they're all fluorines, all of their dipole moments will cancel each other's out, which would, will result in an overall non-polar compound. All right? That is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.